time to let you guys know what is going on with the R32. I've been working pretty much in here every day, just getting this thing ready for Calgary driven. On how the coronavirus. 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 Just getting driven is canceled to compensate for this whole pandemic situation. You know, we're quarantined inside. We might as well be productive. That's why I'm building a full body kit for my R32 sedan. In the last episode, you guys saw that we built the Sweet GT wing. Here's the final version. I didn't clear coat it properly, so it's a little bit rough and it's got a lot of holes in the edge here. As I mentioned in the last episode, I was planning to order some of the infusion supplies needed to get rid of all these pinholes and the rough surface. So this morning I hopped on a composite Envisions and I placed an order for infusion catch pot, special infusion epoxy resin, and then I also actually got some forged carbon fiber material. So we're gonna start playing around with some forged carbon and doing a few things here and there. But the infusion method is gonna be what allows me to get Flawless finishes. Up until now, I've just been doing hand layups and I always get air bubbles, I always get voids in the surface. So this is a big level up for me and it's gonna allow me to hopefully make some parts that I'm really proud of and not just kind of like half-ass bits that I never really want to show people. The next time I use that wing mold will be a proper infusion and we should be able to get a perfect result. So there's a lot to show you guys. We got started on the front bumper here. So I start out by cutting the back of the stock bumper just getting rid of any of the pieces that were going to be in my way and I actually cut off kind of the whole bottom section and then I elevated the bumper three inches thanks to this piece of cardboard. Just use some of this corrugated plastic board as a base for it. Once the bumper had been elevated, I built a barrier around the front and started to use expanding foam to build up the lip portion of the bumper. Also reshaping parts of it so that it's my own design. I kind of fucked it up. This side is smaller than that side. So I'm gonna have to add some foam in this area. And then I'll also be redoing these side pieces a little bit. But front bumper is coming along really nicely. Next up, we got this roof spoiler here. done on this side is I experimented and used a little bit of drywall putty and it hardens up quite nicely and allows me to sand that perfect finish. So this time rather than using this expensive System 3 epoxy fairing compound, I've decided to just use regular old drywall compound. For about a quarter of the price I managed to get about four times the amount. So this stuff is way easier to work with. It doesn't require you mixing two parts together. You literally just apply it and then it sands like absolute butter. It should help me shape this wing a lot faster than the actual spoiler that I built over here. That's what we're doing today. We're gonna keep working on the roof spoiler. One more thing, I don't know how I forgot to show you guys this. This is my absolute favorite part. Boom! So we got the vent prototypes in. I am extremely stoked on these pieces. I got these 3D printed. So I'm working with a 3D modeler now. His name is Nikita. And he is killing it. He's helping me bring all of my ideas to digital form, which then we can take them and either get them 3D printed or CNC'd and then bring those pieces to life. It's a much easier and less time consuming process than the foam method. But the reason that I'm still doing the foam method is because I want experience with both and I want to be able to use multiple skills to build these parts. So for example, I'm working on a fender design with Nikita. We're gonna have to use a combination of these two methods to build the actual fenders, but trust me guys, they're gonna turn out 
fucking awesome. The renders look insane and I'm super excited to get those going, but that will probably happen sometime next week. I'm gonna to try to put out an episode a week. Months ago I took this photo of an R32 with a BN kit and I edited it to my own kit. This is kind of a vision of how the car is going to look. So the final version of this vent is going to be full carbon fiber. I need to make sure that the surface is absolutely flawless before I proceed with the molding. So if you haven't guessed it already, I want this car to be very extra. Lots of aero, lots of carbon, and just very over the top. Obviously this is a demo car for Infamous, so I need to use it and showcase what I can do and the parts that I'm capable of building. Obviously the car is automatic right now, and that's a big problem. I'm gonna be using this as a drift car, and I'm definitely gonna need a manual transmission in here before summer. Luckily, thanks to my boy Calvin, he hooked me up big time, and he actually got me a manual transmission I've got the clutch there, I've got the front half of the drive shaft piece here. Within the next few weeks here, I should be able to collect all the parts needed and then we can start the manual swap. Woo! That's my favorite angle of the wing. Looks so aggressive. <laughs> 